all right all right all right you welcome to all i mass tv my name is jix animal and today we have a challenge on a uh, radical equation and how do we handle this the question says x equal to the square root of x minus one all over x plus the square root of one minus one all over x what then would be the value of x but before we go to today's challenge if you are new to this channel kindly subscribe and when you subscribe turn on the bell notification button so that youtube can notify you whenever we drop a new video because in this channel we drop new videos every day and any of the days we fail to drop a video expect to the next day all right so let's dive into today's challenge we take down our solution we we'll have your solution good we put down our question which is x equal to the square root of x minus 1 all over x plus the square root of 1 minus 1 all over x. Okay. Now we can rewrite this by looking for the LCM of the denominator. Find the LCM of this too. Because here we have this all over every single one and this all over every single one. So if we do that, we're going to have this to be x equal to the square root of x squared minus 1 all over x plus the square root of x minus 1 all over x. All right. What I just did here now is this. The SM of 1 and x is x. So 1 into x will give us x. x times x will give us x squared. And x into x will give us 1. 1 times 1 will give us this one. Same thing I did here, LCM of 1 and x is x, the 1 into x is x, x times 1 will give us x here, minus, which is this minus sign, then x into x is 1, 1 times 1 will give us 1, which is what we have in here now. Okay, so now we proceed again. According to the law or rules of sword, we say that if you have root, square root of a all over b this is equal to the square root of a all over the square root of b okay i produced a video on the rules of sword and the video is showing up here you can watch that video later because this rule is also showing there so from here we can now rewrite the whole of this x when i have this to be x equal to the square root of x squared minus 1 all over the square root of x plus the square root of x minus 1 all over the square root of x. All right, this has not really changed anything. We can decide to multiply every tier by the square root of x, multiply every tier by the square root of s, multiply this side by square root of s. In other words, let's multiply all true by the square root of s. And if we do that, we're going to have here x into the square root of x, close bracket, equal to square root of x here, we eliminate the square root of x. So here we are left with the square root of x squared minus 1 plus, same thing we have here, x minus 1. Okay, so let's go. Again, let's erase this first. Okay, with what we have in here now. Here, if we decide to square everything, if we decide to square everything in here, what will this give us? Automatically, we are going to have here to be your x to the power of 3 equal to, okay, because this is going to give us here x squared times x here to give us x to the power of 3. And on this other side of the equation, there is a relationship that says that if you have a squared plus b squared, this is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So if I apply this relationship here, the whole of a will be this. And the whole of b will be this. So if I apply this relationship automatically, I'm going to have this side to be your x squared minus 1 
plus 2 into the square root of x squared minus 1 close bracket into x minus 1 close bracket plus our x minus 1. This is what it's going to give us according to this rule. So we go down again. If we rearrange, we now have it is to be x square, sorry, x to the power of 3 equal to x squared. Then bring this x plus x minus 1 minus 1. We're going to have here minus 2 plus 2 square root of our x squared minus 1 close bracket x minus 1 close bracket here. Okay, so from here we proceed again. Let's erase this. So if we look at this, we can bring these terms here, the whole of this term to the left hand side. If we do that, this will now give us x to the power of 3 minus x squared. This is plus will also give us minus x. This is minus will give us plus 2 or equal to, we are left with the square root of bracket x squared minus 1 bracket bracket x minus 1. Close our bracket here. Okay. Yeah. We look at this again. Considering what we're having in here now, x squared minus 1 and x minus 1, I want to factor out this same expression on this other side too. So how do I do that? Look at this plus 2 here. Plus 2 can be written as 1 plus 1. So if I go ahead to do that, this expression will give me, okay, so we have here x to the power of 3 minus x squared minus x plus 1 plus 1. Let's keep the right hand side of the equation first and deal with the left hand side of the equation. Okay, now from this expression, I can bracket dx, bracket dx, bracket dx, bracket dx. Okay, what is the next thing I'm going to do here? Yeah, let's factor out terms that are common inside the bracket. So from here, if I factor x as I'm going to have here x squared bracket x to the power of just 1, then minus x, sorry, minus 1, close bracket, Minus what is coming here is just 1 bracket x minus times plus will give us minus 1 plus 1. Okay. All right. If you watch carefully, something special is happening here. We are having x minus 1 and x minus 1 here. So we take this and this that are outside and take one of them. And so this expression will now give us here x to the power of 2, then minus 1 bracket bracket x minus 1 close bracket plus 1 or equal to mind you i said we should hold this part of the equation so we have all equal to square root of our x squared minus 1 close bracket bracket x minus 1 all day so we decided to shift this guy down now ah good before we continue again if you are new to this channel kindly subscribe because we drop new videos here every day. And any of the days we fail to drop a video, expect to the next day. Okay? And when you subscribe, turn on the bell notification button so that YouTube can notify you whenever we drop a wonderful video like the one you are watching right away. So let's go back to the bird. You now discover that something special has happened here. What we have in here now is the same thing we have in here now. So we can bring in another alphabet to represent of x. So from here we can say um, let let uh, let's bring in u. Let u equal to bracket x to the power of 2 minus 1 close bracket bracket x minus 1. So wherever we see this expression we put in u there. We have that expression here now. So this is going to give us here u plus 1 which is this one equal to 2 we are root of u. Oh, very good. Very, very good. At this point, again, let's square everything. Let's square the whole of this. Square the whole of this. Okay? 
Remember the relationship I told you of the other time. So if we apply the relationship we use in getting dicks, like I told you the other time, then this expression we probably is going to give us here u squared plus 2u plus 1 equal to a 4u. Okay, so let's go back to this side of the equation again. Uh, sorry, I'm using a mini board, so just bear with me. Bear with me for the now until I get a better board. Okay. So if we proceed from here, if we collect our light terms, this is going to give us here u squared plus 2u plus 1 minus 4u or equal to 0. And this will end up giving us u squared minus 2u plus 1 equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation. So we solve this quadratically using the a quadratic formula. And the quadratic formula says that u is going to give us minus b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Let's go ahead and bring out the value of a, b, and c from this equation. Our a, a will give us here 1, which is the coefficient of u squared, and b is the coefficient of u, which is minus 2, and c, which is the constant term, is 1. So let's go ahead and put in this value into our formula. So from here, we're going to have u is equal to minus bracket minus 2, close bracket, plus minus the square root of minus 2 all squared minus 4 times 1 times uh, 1 again. Okay, here we have 1 again all over 2 times 1. Great. Here, we're going to have here 2 plus minus the square root, square root of, we're going to have 4 minus 4 all over 2. And 4 minus 4 is going to give us 0. So this is going to give us here 2 all over 2, which is equals to 1. So we succeeded in calculating our u to be 1. Okay, so from here, recall, look at it. Here we have our u here, please. So u is equivalent to 1 now. Now, let's go back to uh, the place where we said let u is equal to dx. So wherever we see u now, we put in dx value here now. So let's go back to this expression again. So we say recall, recall, I will say, say u is equal to bracket x squared minus 1 close bracket bracket x minus 1. So let's put in 1 into the place of u here. So this will now give us here um, 1 equal to bracket x squared minus 1 close bracket bracket x minus 1. Good. What we do here, we go ahead to open up this bracket. So if we open up this, we're going to have here to be 1 equal to x to the power of 3, then minus x squared minus x plus 1. And automatically, dx1 will go with this, because if you cross to this other side, it's going to give you minus i. So we're going to have 1 minus 1 to give us 0. And so we are now left with our x to the power of 3 minus x to the power of 2 minus x equal to 0. Here, we can factor out x again. So if we factor out x, we're going to have here your x into x to the power of 2 minus x minus 1 or equal to 0. Hmm. Good. The game is playing us. Okay. If we go by the zero product rule, we have to equate this x to 0, equate this quadratic to 0. And so we're going to have here, we have here x equal to 0 or x to the power of 2 minus x minus 1 equal to 0. And if you look at the first one, x to the to uh, to zero, x to zero should be ignored because it will not satisfy our uh, expression here. 
here. X equal to zero should be ignored. Okay. Because if we plug this into our equation, it's not going to give us the right answer. So let's reject this value. We pick the next one, which is x squared minus x minus 1 equal to 0. This is another quadratic equation again. So we solve quadratically again. We bring that down our quadratic formula. So from here we have our a. Let's just go straight. a is equal to 1. b is equal to minus 1 and c is equal to minus 1 also. So let's plug this into our formula. So we have here x is equal to minus b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. From here, let's go back and erase this as we continue again. Don't worry. Very soon, I will get a bigger board for um, easy and covenant solving. Okay, I will get a bigger board. But at the same time, if you want to support um, the, the channel by getting uh, not a bigger board, a powerful board, a sophisticated board, uh, it is welcome to, okay, and we appreciate it if you can get out the board here. Yeah. Okay, so let's go. Uh, just by the way, so if we plug in our values into this, what will this give us? So we're going to have here x equal to p. P is minus 1. So we have here minus bracket minus 1 into plus minus to the square root of minus 1 all squared the minus 4 times 1 times minus 1. Okay. All over 2 times 1. Good. So we can simplify this by saying here we give us 1 plus minus the square root of 1 minus minus times minus will give us plus so plus 4 all over 2 which is equal to 1 plus minus the square root of 5 all over 2 good we now have two answers from this again and what are the two answers here we now have x is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 all over 2 or 1 minus the square root of 5 all over 2. Take a look at this guy. If we plug this into our original equation, we're going to run into trouble. It's not going to give us the correct value. So this will not satisfy the equation. In other words, we ignore this one again. Ignore this again. So we ignore this answer. So the only answer that will satisfy our equation is this very one. Now, for the sake of time and space, I would go ahead to plug this into this expression. I will discover that it's going to give us the correct or will satisfy the equation. So the only true value of x is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 all over 2. This is the correct answer to our x. Q E D. All right. So if you have learned something special, something great from this radical equation, then drop it in the comment section. Okay. If you have a better way of solving this without much waste of time, okay, because we work with uh, speed and time in uh, mathematics. So if you have a better way of solving this within a short period of time, also drop it in the comment section so that we can equally learn from you. Like I told you in this channel, we're trying to strike a win win situation. Okay, you learn from us, we learn from you. Okay, now if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe. And when you subscribe, do not forget to turn on the bell notification button. Okay, give our video a thumbs up. Okay, because it helps to fast track the growth of this channel. Remember, I, Jigs, love you so much. And all of us at Online Mass TV love you so much. Thank you for always being there. We are proud of you. We love you so much. Bye for now. Even as I wish you a happy new year. 2023, we're going to solve more of mathematics again. Because mathematics is life. Thanks once again. Bye for now. Bye-bye.